can't take myself serious. Ah! <laughs> Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Today you guys, I'm doing a this or that video. A this or that or why. So if you wanna see what I feel about 12 fragrances that I have to share with you that I will not be comparing, but I'll just be doing like a, if you had to choose this or this one, which one would you choose? Here on this channel, I cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous doorless. You guys, I cannot stop. Okay, hold up. Pause. I cannot stop smiling so hard because one, I am always happy to see you. So hey everyone, people that are new, welcome. And all of you that are returning, welcome back. I'm super excited to see you guys. 2.5 right out the gate. I'm getting to the video, I promise. But I have to say this because this smile will not lose, leave my face. So I'm looking here at my viewfinder, right? These eyelashes, okay? You guys, I still have on my Valentine Day eyelashes, okay? I was given a lot of voom, va va va, sexy vibes, okay? So they're still on, but I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> and, and the mic, okay? I know it's not aesthetically pleasing. I tried to put it somewhere where you can hear me better. I've been hearing your comments. I was listening to the videos back and I'm like, why am I not being able to be heard? I know I talk loud. So why can I hear myself? So we're gonna try it right here today and see how it goes. I have to give you guys the truth, okay? I have to tell you exactly how I feel and what's going on before I can proceed with the video. So you know you know what I'm feeling. You're like an inside there with me. So that's what's going on over here behind the scenes. I'm looking over here like this is like a hot mess. These lashes are doing the most. But we're gonna get into it. So anyways, uh, that's what's going on here on the channel. This is a very fun video, very chill, very relaxed, grab a snack. It's not gonna be long, but it's definitely gonna be fun. I get a lot of questions saying, hey Sheree, if you had to choose this fragrance or this fragrance, which one would you choose? So I said, okay, you know what? Let me make a video about that. This would be maybe helpful for some and entertaining for all, I hope. So moving right along, hopefully if you have not taken the 2.5 to hit the subscribe button, and of course you enjoyed the vibe and the content, go ahead and stop what you're doing and hit the subscribe button now you guys know that I love playing games entertaining everything like that and you know that I love for you to join in on the fun so open your box go ahead and get your comment section open get ready to go as I choose which one this or that I want to hear from you out of the two which one would you choose okay let me give you an example so it makes sense I am gonna start here Maison Francis Kirk John Oud Satin Mood, beautiful fragrance, okay? I'm not gonna do notes and all that because we'll be here all day, but this is like a beautiful Oud Rose fragrance. I absolutely love it. Or what I choose, Maison Francis Kirk John, almost said Baccarat, Maison Francis Kirk John Grand Soir. What I choose. Uh, this is more of an amber, vanilla type of fragrance. Beautiful fragrance. This is more dressy, more going out, just, you know, like riding in on a, uh, a chariot and going to like a ball and everything like that. Very dressy vibes it gives me. This one here, on the other hand, is more sexy. It's more intimate to me. So, of course, if you know anything about the channel, if I had to choose Oud Satin Mood or Grand Soir, which one am I choosing? Oud Satin Mood. Why? Because it's sexy. And if you're not sexy, I don't even want you in my collection. And if I had to choose a fragrance, I'm definitely going to choose one that makes me feel more sexy than one that makes me feel glamorous. I mean, I'm already glamorous dwelling. You already know. I move on. So that's how it's going to go. Okay, now which one did you choose? Go ahead and put in the box. Did you choose Grand Soir or Oud Satin Mood? And if you're like, Shrey, I've never smelled them before. Okay, keep watching. There's going to be one in here that you've tried. Okay, would you rather... Is that the game? No, 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 no. That's another game. <laughs> Would you rather? Okay, so Donna Born in Roma by Valentino or YSL Leap, the intense version. If I had to choose one, which one would I choose? You guys, this one here is really hard. This right here was really hard. And I'm gonna tell you why. Beautiful bourbon vanilla note, floral, black, um, uh, what is it, black raspberry or black currant in the beginning. Didn't you say you weren't gonna do notes? Giving the people a little something, come on now. So anyways, black currant in the beginning, beautiful, sexy fragrance, very versatile. I feel it could be worn winter, spring, summer, fall, day, night, evening, brunch, church, date night, it's sexy enough. <sighs> It's really, really good. Oh my gosh, I still can't decide. Or this one here is Lieb, Lieb Intense. This has the vanilla, uh, the lavender note isn't as prominent, but it's still a beautiful fragrance. To be honest with you guys, I know you're not gonna expect this, but what I'm feeling right now and the vibe that I'm going off of today, right now, don't ask me this tomorrow because I might change my mind. But today, dwelling, I think I would choose Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I'm just here right now. Um, maybe it's because spring is approaching and the weather here is very sunny and hot and beautiful and gorgeous and you want to be outside just living your best life. I'm choosing today, as we speak, 
Donna Born in Roma by Valentino. Which one would you choose? This or that? I move on. Of course you knew Chanel was gonna be in here. You guys, this was so hard. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna choose Coco Noir? This is that lady I tell you guys about. The boss lady, very dressy. It's got some Tonka bean. It's got patchouli. Oh, we're not. And this one is very sharp and patchouli. This is Coco Mademoiselle. Iconic, classic, timeless. You already know. I don't need to take the cap off. I don't need to smell them, familiarize myself. I told you, I love a fragrance for how it makes me feel. And if you know me, you already know she's choosing Coco Noir. That is this one here. If you need something for that little black dress, dressy event occasion it could be worn winter spring summer fall as well definitely it's a versatile fragrance i have compartmentalized it in date night going out something special in my life not really special i mean every day that god allows us to wake up and see another day warm blood running through our body okay it is a blessing and it is special but i just compartmentalize this in that place this right here is like anywhere anytime any place all year around for me as well if you are new to chanel and you said sheree i can only start with one if you don't like patchouli don't choose this if you don't mind it and you like that, you know, sexy, dark, a little mysterious to me, bossy, classy babe woman, then choose this one. So if I had to choose one, I'm choosing Coco Noir. I move on. What did you choose? I wanna know. Leave it in the comments section below. There are two more that I get asked about all the time. You guys, this was really hard too. You already know Delina was gonna be in here. But if I had to choose today, which one would I choose? Oh my gosh, Oriana? which is the new one, the one who calls all the drama darlings, or would I choose Delina? Uh, the Turkish Rose, Liche, Nutmeg. This one is more Chantilly Cream, Mandarin Orange. Giving you a little bit, okay? Just so you know what we're working with here. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance, has a marshmallow note, compared a lot to Love by Killian. Um, Oh my God. I wore this um, during Valentine's Day weekend too. It was so good. I mixed it with Love. Hope another video, you guys. Thank me later, amazing combo. Oh gosh, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's spray it. Oh, I have none to waste. I have none to waste. I'm going with Delina. As soon as I sprayed it, it transported me. It gave me so many amazing memories. I mean, I just love Delina. If I had to choose Oriana or Delina, I'm choosing Delina. I move on. Which one did you choose? I want to hear. Our next two. Now this one is new in the collection. I have been playing with it. Thank you so much for uh, sending this over. I received it in PR. So thank you to the team over at Victor and Roth for sending this over. This is their flower bomb, Ruby Orchid. And I shared this with you guys. I went to Sephora and the bottle is beautiful though, right? A moment for the bottle dwelling. Um, the bottle is beautiful. I played with this a little bit over at Sephora and it's just really sweet for me. Um, it's sweet, it's got some peach, I believe it's got some vanilla. It's a beautiful fragrance, it's really, really sweet. If you like sweet fragrances and you like something more syrupy, in my opinion, I would definitely say try this out for the spring and summer, or would you prefer, Sheree, the original, which is Flower Bomb. I also received this one from the brand as well when they did their limited edition a couple of Christmases ago. You guys, I tell you all the time, I can't be bothered, I don't even remember, but this is it here. So. If I had to choose Ruby Orchid, which is more sweeter in my opinion, or Flower Bomb, you already know. I'm gonna choose Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb is sexy, it's classy, um, it's a bomb, it's an explosion. I feel that this is date night appropriate. I feel it is just like, it can get it, you know what I mean? You gotta go, for me, I have to go with fragrances on how they make me feel. And this one here just does something to me. Yes, I have history with it. Yes, I have memories with it. But if I had to choose or recommend 10 out of a 10, highly recommend, I'm gonna go with Flower Bomb. This is nice. It's sweeter, but I'm choosing Flower Bomb. I move on. Our next two, I get this question a lot and shout out to the girls, or I don't even know if I should say shout out. Does people say that anymore? Shout out. Um, I don't know what the new term is, but uh, shout out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. To all the people that come in my DMs and ask me about House of Siage and all their different fragrances. You guys, if if you want to know my thoughts and opinions, I can definitely do a whole nother video on the House of Siage. I've now been playing with their fragrances even more, but I get asked almost every day, which one do I think is better? Whispers of Truth in the Garden Collection or Whispers of Truth Noir. They are both beautiful. We cannot deny them that. They are both beautiful. You have the white bottle. You know I love white and gold. And then we have the black bottle, black and gold as well. Ah, I'm going to take the cap off and I'm going to do a light spray only because... I really, I already know what I'm gonna choose, but let's humor me. Oh my gosh, that's good though. It's the leather. Oh my God, it's the leather. It's the oud, it's the leather. It's so sexy and hot. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. 
Okay, now whispers of truth. Oh, I had lotion on my hands. It's really hard to get this off. All right, let's try this one. It doesn't help that I have this candle back here burning, so I'm smelling like it's like a crackling kind of fire candle burning. And then I just sprayed that and that smells like burning too. It's just hot up in here, okay? It's hot, it's hot, hot. Oh my gosh, okay, I, I, I've decided, I've decided. If I had to choose one, this or that, I'm choosing the original. I'm choosing Whispers of Truth. And the reason why I say that is because I, it might be right now, you guys, just the weather, okay? It might solely be based right now on the weather. I love this one. This was my second favorite one after Passion de l'Amour. When it entered my collection, I received this from the brand as well. It was gifted to me. I received it in PR and I just absolutely loved it. I tell you all the time, it kind of gives me Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes. It definitely does, but this is more fruity. It has something, I don't know if it's grapefruit, but it has something in the opening that just makes it a bit more refreshing, not as refined, and I shouldn't say refined, not as, um, I get a little bit more playfulness from this, a little bit more romantic from this than I would Baccarat Rouge 540. They smell similar, but they are not dupes or it's not, you know, compare, it's not the same fragrance is what I'm trying to say. You're definitely gonna experience something different. So if you were thinking, oh, I already have Baccarat Rouge in my collection, I don't wanna get that because it smells too similar. It smells similar, but it's definitely different. I definitely would choose House of Siage Whispers of Truth. It's just a beautiful fragrance and it's gonna be so beautiful this spring, this summer. It's light, it's airy, it's long lasting, it's refreshing. I absolutely love it. This is my honest opinion today. Yesterday's prices may not be today's prices. Now tomorrow's decision may not be today's decision. I might choose this, but I'm saying for today, right now, this is what I'm choosing. You guys, I hope this has been fun. I hope it has been entertaining. Please leave down in the comment section below this or that for you. What would you choose? Let me know if you like these type of videos. You know I love coming on the channel. I love having a great time. I love to be, you know, um, informative, but at the same time entertaining. I was just a quick 2.5 and then I have to let you guys go. I was that kind of kid in school. When I was in school, I had teachers and the teachers that were really calm and you know very like okay you know that didn't work for me I was so bored I was always talking I was always drawing I was not paying attention because she just lost my attention right but I did have teachers that were more like upbeat and they made the class very fun and very like oh my god you didn't know what to expect and I thrived in those type of classes because my brain was challenged and I was going I'm like oh my god what are you gonna do what are you gonna do so and you guys this is not coffee okay this is really just how I am. Today is Sunday, I am heading out. It's gonna be an amazing day. It's beautiful, the blue skies, palm trees. It's just gonna be a great day. I am manifesting that already. So that's how I am. So that's how I like to watch videos when people are very entertaining and upbeat and very fun because it just makes me feel like it's a vibe and that's what we're doing for the day. So that's what I try and provide and deliver to you all as well. I hope everybody is doing well. Don't forget to leave some type of comment in the comment section below, even if you leave me your scent of the day. Take 2.5 and drop it down in the comment section below and I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye. These lashes, I can't take myself serious. Ah!